Hi everybody, it's Monica Wahi from Death Wench Professional Services, where I always say, let Death Wench do your data. And I'm here today to promote my new book, Mastering SaaS Programming for Data Warehousing. And why am I here to do that? Because you got problems. I got problems. If you're a data scientist, you got data problems. And what I've got in my book are solutions for you. All my data warehousing secrets that will make your data warehouse gorgeous. But let me convince you. Let's start with chapter one. Chapter one, I go over the history of SaaS, like how the IO engine was built and the analytic engine. And unfortunately, you kind of need to know that in order to do modern data warehousing with SaaS. Like I actually talk about the cards and like if you should use where or where you should use if, you know, the if and where problem. Then in chapter two, I talk about how we read big data in in the modern times with SAS. So I really start to hook you up there. Talk about lib name, talk about proc seaport, proc import, touch a little on proc SQL. So I got stuff for you. I, I even show you how to unpack an XPT, right? And, and how to pack it back up if you need to put it away, right? So you want chapter two, okay? Then we move on to chapter three. What's that? SAS labels and formats, okay? Not R, not Python, not Tableau, not even SQL. You'll never use these except in SAS. So, and, and actually you need to know them because you can actually use them to not only improve your IO, but to make your reports like prettier. So you wanna go through chapter three. Then in chapters four and five, we go over stuff that's really like top secret that I'm sharing with you. Like no, nobody I know knows how to do this. And it's about how to design your ETL and how to design your reporting. So what, what does that mean? Well, it means about making metadata. It means about designing variables, designing processes. How are you gonna do your ETL pipeline? Who's gonna do what? And how are you gonna do your reporting? How are you gonna spec your report? How are you gonna verify your report? All that's in there and it's got code for you. I got code, I got code on GitHub. You can download and play with it. SAS University edition, free, 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 right. Okay, so then after chapters four and five, I have to hit you with chapter six, which are arrays. So anybody who uses SAS, you know, arrays, can't live with them, can't live without them. You need them for IO, but boy, are they hairy to use. And you got naming convention problems, but Another solution I include for you, how to deal with those array naming conventions. So you definitely wanna read chapter six. But then finally, we go to chapter seven, where we instantiate the ETL plans that we made in chapter four. So it's about how to actually do the ETL that you designed. And then chapter eight is about automating that ETL with macros and macro variables. Now it's important, macro variables and macros are not the same thing, I, I cover all of that in um, chapter eight. And then we move on to chapter nine because guess what? We need chapter nine because that is debugging and troubleshooting. Because if you've made it to chapter nine, you've got macros, you've got data input, you've got reports, and you're probably gonna need to do some troubleshooting. Finally, we make it to, I admit, my favorite chapter, and that's chapter 10. That's about how to serve user needs. So it's a little touchy-feely. But it's also very you know, professional because it's really about management and leadership and how you can make your data warehouse shine, not just from the point of view of the data in it and the reports, but also from the point of view of the, the management and the stewardship of the data. Then um, in chapter 11, we get back to the information superhighway. How do you connect SAS? with other products. Like how do you pipe in SQL? How do you connect it to Tableau? What about the cloud? What about Snowflake? Well, to cut to the chase, it's an open database connection and the SAS access component, but there's devil in the details, so you wanna read it. Finally, in chapter 12, which is the last chapter, and I saved it for last, is really about reporting to the web. And you know, if you go back to chapter one, like SAS is pretty old, the web wasn't there. So SAS struggles a little bit with reporting to the web, but now we have SAS via. So there's new stuff. So you wanna read it. All right, so what are you waiting for? If you got data problems, I got your solutions. What you want, what you want. I got it all here. And 
Mastering SaaS Programming for Data Warehousing. So you can click on the description and buy it at Amazon if you've made your decision. Um, if not, I've also put a link in the description to a blog post I made that explains what's in each chapter. And those of you who are professors and educators like moi will really like the book because I've got little questions at the end. And of course, there's the code on GitHub. All right, please buy my book and make your data warehouse beautiful.